The AirPulse A80 are a set of active bookshelf speakers touching 100 watts of total power output, high-res audio support and a variety of input choices that make the speakers flexible to use in a TV, audio listening or desk setup. This is my first time looking at an AirPulse product, but you may recognise some design elements from Edify speakers as AirPulse is part of the Edify group. These AirPulse speakers aren't cheap with a retail price of £629, so let's take a closer look at the speakers to see whether they're worth the price. Before we get started with the video, if you're new to the channel and enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss future reviews. The AirPulse A80 are available in two colour choices. The walnut finish offers a more traditional aesthetic, whilst the electric blue finish that I've been testing for this review offers a modern design that really pops and stands out in your space. In my case, I've had these set up at my desk for the last couple of weeks, and I have to say, with the electric blue colour alongside the black woofer and tweeter, these really do have a great contrasting design, and the splash of colour is a very welcome addition. Just before I continue, I should mention that I've set up these speakers the wrong way around. The active speaker should be on the right hand side, and this placement may be something that you need to take into account when thinking about how these speakers can fit into your setup. The speaker design is fairly minimal. The sides are plain, as are the tops, so they look clean when set up. Both speakers feature a horn-loaded ribbon tweeter, as well as a 4.5 inch woofer on the front, and feature a black and silver design, and both feature oval-shaped glossy black base ports on the back. The speakers also feature an 18mm thick MDF cabinet that is lined with sound absorption foam, although this design element can't be seen, it should provide a more controlled listening experience. The right side speaker acts as the controller for the two, featuring all the inputs and connectivity, and this connects and provides power to the left side speaker using the included 5-pin cable. There's also plenty of connectivity with four physical inputs as well as Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity. There are two RCA inputs, as well as USB and optical input. The latter supports high-res audio playback. I connected the speakers to my computer over USB, so I can make use of this, but I did need to make sure that I manually selected the 24-bit 192,000Hz sample rate and bit depth in my sound settings. The speaker also features a subwoofer out connection, which is great to see, as if you like bass, you have that flexibility to add a subwoofer if you'd like to. The speakers also feature treble and bass dials, which you can use to increase the presence of bass and treble if you want to turn up the bass without adding a separate subwoofer unit. There's also a volume dial on the back, which doubles up as an input selection button, as well as a standby toggle. However, waking the speakers from standby isn't immediate and can take a few seconds. Briefly moving back to the front side again, the right speaker also has the input indicator to tell you which input is in use, and this also is the infrared receiver for the included remote. The AirPulse A80 provide a good listening experience that sounds great. The best way I can describe the speakers is that they sound clear and controlled. The ribbon tweeters offer great clarity for the high-end and treble, and I have not noticed any sharp sounds or sibilance when listening to the music and watching videos. Likewise, I found the bass to be good for what I like, but if you are a bass head you may want to add a subwoofer to accompany the 4.5 inch magnet ferrite woofer. During my testing, I left the speakers set to zero and zero for bass and treble on the adjustment dials to understand how they naturally sound, but you can always adjust these to get the sound that you want to fit your taste and listening environment. Unfortunately, there are no built-in EQ presets on the remote, so the dials on the back of the speaker are the only hardware adjustment that you'll get. I've been impressed with the frequency response and range of the speakers, which feature a range of 52 hertz to 40 kilohertz. The speakers sound great for a range of music genres and hold up well, I was particularly impressed by the bass response when I was listening to a track by the weekend, so I heard some low ends that I'd never heard before when listening to that track. The bass is also punchy when needed, but it doesn't sound out of control. The mid range is also handled by the woofers, which use 40 watts of power each and produce a clear vocal sound and immersive listening experience when a track is produced with stereo panning on the instruments. The treble is handled by the tweeter, which uses 10 watts of power each and provides a very detailed and crisp treble. The volume offered by the speakers is also good. I mostly ended up using the speakers listening at a comfortable background volume whilst I worked, but if you're wanting to fill a room with sound and crank the volume, you shouldn't have any problems. Overall, these speakers do sound great, and the word that I keep coming to when describing these is controlled. The sound that they put out sounds intentional and clean. 
Additionally, their high-res support will be great if you enjoyed listening to high-fidelity audio, and you'll just want to make sure that your device can make full use of the speakers with high-res, but even without high-res, they still sound impressive. As mentioned earlier during the review, the AirPulse A80 feature a variety of inputs, and there are a variety of included cables so you can get up and running straight away. Within the box, a 3.5mm to RCA, RCA to RCA, optical and USB cable are included, and it's nice to see that the cables that you may need to get up and running are included, as it means that you don't have to wait for the correct cables to arrive, or need to spend even more money to use your speakers. For wireless connectivity, the speakers support Bluetooth 5.0, so you can connect without the need for cables at all. This is particularly handy if you want to use your phone or tablet as a wireless audio source. The speakers also feature an XMOS processor to handle all of the digital sound processing for the speakers. The included remote is rather cheap feeling, which was also a little twisted around the battery cover. For £629, this remote should really be better for the price of the speakers and how AirPods position themselves as a premium audio brand. It feels like a remote that would come with a cheap iPod dock in 2010. It's a shame that the speakers are so nicely presented in the box, individually bagged and all, but when you end up with this cheap feeling remote to interface with them, it's not that great. Don't get me wrong, it's nice to see a remote included, but I feel it could be far improved to provide a premium user experience. Speaker isolation foam pads are also included within the box, which may help prevent any intentional noise from the speakers being passed through onto the surface that they are on. It's great to see that these have been included, and the foam also feels well made and sturdy. The foam is angled so the speakers can point upright towards your ears, which should further enhance the listening experience. The AirPulse A80 offer a great listening experience with incredibly detailed and controlled sound that sounds great for listening to a wide range of music genres, as well as watching videos. The speakers support a range of inputs, so you should be able to use them with a wide range of devices, and I think that they look great. It's just a shame about that remote. Well, that's been it for this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing. I will leave a link to the speakers in the description if you're interested in picking them up for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.